It's gonna take a little more than 80 days to travel around the world But we know you'll hear about it cause we are three favorite girls Exploring the globe And wherever life takes us mm, Wherever life takes us Hey guys and welcome back to this week's episode of Magical Monday I'm Kelly and this is a wherever life takes us podcast um and this is my third episode but my second week on the dcp um for those who don't know what the dcp is the dcp is the disney college program basically i live and work in disney for a semester and so far i'm loving it um so sorry that the lighting's really bad i usually film Magical Mondays, or I will normally film Magical Mondays in the daylight hours, where I have the sun shining on my beautiful face and all that. But unfortunately, I didn't because I was busy this morning today. So that is why it's a little dark. But I will definitely be sure to include pictures in this video and videos in this video. Um, so be sure to check out the YouTube if you if you are listening to this on this podcast. Be sure to check out the YouTube at Wherever Life Takes Us. All right, so let's dig in. So after traditions last week, that's when I left you guys. I told you I was going to Disney University to take some photos. Unfortunately, it is Florida. And in Florida, it torrential downpours randomly when you least expect it. So um, we got to Disney University and started pouring um so instead me and my friends got right back on the bus and headed to the grand floridian where we got dinner and took some pictures in the pretty beautiful little like it's so pretty in there bougie hotel um and then we got okay first off the chicken that's what we got at the grand floridian was fucking amazing if you go to the grand flow cafe which you totally should it's a, like a sit down quick service i guess you could call it no it's like a sit down restaurant but it's a cafe it's so nice and so good and there's so many different things to go to um in the grand floridian so we also stopped by the enchanted rose which is like a little um bar that's like um beauty and the beast themed so it was so pretty in there we didn't end up staying we didn't see anything we really wanted it's all alcohol and we were all hungry for food but it was awesome and then we park hopped oh well we didn't park hop but we took the monorail from the grand floridian to the magic kingdom which was a super quick trip because if you don't know the grand floridian is a magic kingdom resort so the monorail passes right by it and it's right next to the, to the magic kingdom you have a view of the magic kingdom from the grand floridian we couldn't go in because we didn't have our main gate pass yet which is like our season pass to get into all the parks but we took photos outside um which i will also insert right here um, and it was so fun. And then we went to the Contemporary and we watched fireworks from the top of the Contemporary. Um, the Contemporary is also a Magic Kingdom resort. So the monorail took us right from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary. It was so nice. And when people say, you know, fireworks on top of the Contemporary, you're usually going to think the California Grill. But if you're on the main level where like the, not the main level, but where the um, restaurants are, like the quick service restaurants, Chef Mickey's, the bar, all the stores, that whole floor, if you go outside to the back left, um, is like a little terrace area where they have like firework viewing seating. Um, and it plays the music that's playing over at the Magic Kingdom because you have a great view of the fireworks. So it was super crowded over there. So we ended up going upstairs. Like we went on like the, um, up like two flights. It was on the terrace. So you still looked out over the terrace. We can still hear the music. And we got the most amazing view of the fireworks with the monorail passing through. It was so fun and we just had a great time. Um, uh, I can't even begin to tell you how, how good of a time we had. So that was really a fun night. And then the next day, I did my training. So first day of training at Epcot is called World Exploration. Basically, they show you around Epcot um, it wasn't really any new information for me just because I kind of consider myself a little bit of a Disney historian. So I knew everything they said. I knew where all the restaurants were. I knew all that stuff. So a little boring, but it was still fun. Like I literally got paid to walk around Epcot. Although I was absolutely stupid. 
starving and we were not allowed to stop to like get food at the world showcase which sucked but it was so fucking good like i cannot even begin to explain how like hungry i was and the smells and uh, it's food and rhine it's food and wine right now so they have food from all over the world so like we passed like the greek stand and the oh god i still haven't been there yet but i'm going tomorrow um, so that was a lot of fun and my, this doesn't happen, they didn't do this with any other group, but my, um, like, trainers, um, they got us on for, like, a, um, cast preview of the new Ratatouille ride in France, so that was awesome, we got to ride Ratatouille, um, before it opened, which was really exciting, and then we basically went back, we got our costumes, we did some de-learn, which is, like, basically, like, safety, you know how to handle suspicious packages and stuff like that super boring super easy but it was a lot of fun all in all really good day super awesome and then the next day was more like um location based so i got to meet like the other trainees which weren't all of us they break us up so there was three of us so i had one other trainee with the same trainer and then there was another trainer that had one trainee but we all just kind of morphed into one big unit because that's just what happened. We all really got along and our coordinators, which are our trainers, were just so nice. And Sean, Nikki, we love you guys. You were awesome. But um, basically we meet everybody, we say hi. Um, and then our trainer took us around and did like a tour of our area. So we didn't go into the World Showcase because technically I'm more of like a future world thing. We did like the little outskirts of the World Showcase, but it took us to like all the lounges and like um like break rooms for epcot workers which are really awesome there's one break room in the seas it's right above the seas and it overlooks the aquariums so, like there's like windows where you can see into the aquarium um so that was fucking dope like so cool so awesome really just quality stuff um we got behind the scenes we got to see like the diner where like cast members can go and eat which is like kind of behind test track um and there's a subway in there and like a another like little restaurant quick service thing and it was fantastic we got lunch there we ate together it was awesome just a lot of fun you know we were doing a lot of the next couple and then then we got into more like um location based things so i'm a greeter so like we worked on like what to look for when guests are leaving like we say bye have a magical day or that's the Magic Kingdom saying. We say, bye, hope you guys had fun, see you real soon, all that stuff. Um, and we basically make sure, like, the RCVs don't leave that are Disney-owned, the wheelchair, stroller, anything that was rented from Epcot stays in the park. And that people can't leave with an open container of alcohol. So, um, clear cups with no lids are open containers of alcohol. Um, so, we can, we can, we can, we're not allowed to let guests... Um, leave but like you're not allowed to say hey sir you can't leave with that you want to have you want to tell them things they can do so hey sir you got to finish your your drink in the park like you know what i mean positive stuff so that was pretty cool to learn the two finger point not one finger because that's offensive in some culture so two fingers or whole hand so are you looking for the bathroom miss yes well it's that way right um which is really it's fun to like get all that information so all the parks have like a greeting um, so, like, Typhoon is Surf's Up, Blizzard Beach is Enjoy the Slopes, um, Magic Kingdom is Have a Magical Day, uh, Animal Kingdom is Have a Wild Time, I think, and um, Hollywood Studios is uh, Action? No. Oh, I don't remember what it is, but Epcot is um, Enjoy Your Day of Discovery, which is a mouthful when you say it 35 times. So I also say like, welcome world travelers, stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of fun. So we worked at the main entrance that day. It was a closing shift, so we learned how to close. We got to watch a little bit of the fireworks, so that was awesome. So it was really just fun. Our coordinators, I say coordinators, our trainers, I mean are literally the best but our coordinators are also the best we met those like those are going to be like our direct bosses and they were awesome we just had 
a blast. Like it was so fun. The whole week of training was so fun. The next day we did a, a Epcot main entrance opening show. So we learned how to open. We did more of like that type of um, greetings and how to work the um, touch points, which is where you scan your magic bands or your media, your cards when you get into Spark. What does blue mean? What does green mean? What are the different things it could be if it turned blue? How to call the grapes, which are the guest relations people that like stand behind in the plaid um, that you'll see at the parks. So it was really just an awesome experience. I can't say enough good things about the greeter position and the, the greeter cast members at Epcot. All of them are so nice and so welcoming. And, you know, you hear a lot that sometimes DCP um, participants get kind of the short end of the stick because the trainers or anybody in general are like, oh, you guys are only here for six months. But everyone was so welcoming and so happy to have us. And it was so fun. It really is. They're all great. On um, the third day of training, we went and we did the World Showcase um, International Gateway entrance to Epcot. It's cool because Epcot is the only park with two um, entranceways. So it's cool to get that kind of variety. You know what I mean? Um, so we worked there and that was fun. Um, there's a lot more alcohol that's coming around there. So you got to be careful, but it's a lot chiller. Um, there's only like four touch points instead of 16. So it's a lot easier to manage. Um, and it's mainly people coming from the Skyliner, um, so the Epcot Resorts, Pop Century, Art of Animation, Caribbean Beach, then the Epcot Resorts and Hollywood Studios coming through the, um, the World Showcase entrance. So it was really fun. We have to wear those horrible flag shirts though. Insert picture here. They're not cute, but you know what? It's crazy because I've never like... I don't know if I said this in the last podcast, but coming to Disney my whole life, like they've always worn these shirts and like, I've never thought to myself, wow, those are ugly. But now that I have to wear them, I'm like, oh, those are so ugly. Um, but my main entrance is pretty cute. Insert a picture here. And they're super comfortable, so that's what matters. And I get to wear a cowboy hat, which is dope. Um, and then today was, and then I head off Tuesday, Wednesday, so... I spent a lot of time like just hanging out on my couch on Tuesday, none of my friends had off. So I just hung out on my couch, caught up in my sleep. I had some friends come over later that night. Wednesday, I also didn't do much, just mainly chilled at home. You know, it was nice to have a little bit of a relaxing day or so. And then Thursday, I had my last day of training. Thursday, I had my last day of training and it was main entrance again. It was fun. It was good, you know, we actually got to work the touch points, which was awesome. And then after work, there was a Taylor Swift bar night um, in Tampa. So I got four of my, well, five of my friends to come with me. So we all crammed into a little car, picked up my friend from her shift at Epcot, which ended at eight and went to Tampa. It was so much fun. I got way too drunk, but I had a blast. They're awesome. I can't believe I got them to come with me to a Taylor Swift bar night. And not only to do that, but to drive an hour to get there. They're so good to me, but I just had so much fun. And then I know I keep saying that, but it's really just been such an amazing week. Um, and then today was my last day of training. I had my assessment today. So basically I took like a little quiz just to make sure I knew all the like things about the car park readers. And then um, we did like a practical part of like the assessment. And like we went and we did like opening the touch points, closing the touch points, um, greeting guests, saying goodbye, what to look for, how to help them, like that type of stuff. Super easy. Again, um, we had different people assessing us than trained us but they were all so awesome. Like, I can't even get over how nice everybody's been. Um, it's just been a great week. And then our park passes came today. So we thought we were gonna get them on Wednesday and about half the people from my arrival date did get them on Wednesday. So like all my friends went to the parks like Wednesday night and I sat home, which was sad. But I got mine today and today's Friday and I got to go to Hollywood Studios after my shift um so I earned my ears so hold on I forgot to tell you 
my name tag when I'm earning my ears has this cute little earning my ears little red banner that comes with it. So I've passed my assessment. I am no longer earning my ears, which means I can take it off. All right, here we go. Oh. <gasps> ah! I am a grown up. I officially do not need to earn my ears. I have earned them. I earned my ears. I'm so excited. Oh, this is good stuff. Um, so after I got home from earning my ears, I picked up my park pass and I booked it to Hollywood Studios where I got on a couple different rides. I ate at Docking Bay 7, which is where one of my friends works. Um, and then we went to, I was there for like two hours. We went on, um, it's really low wait times right now because we're off season. So I went on like um, Smuggler's Run, uh, Slinky Dog Dash, Toy Story Mania. I think that's it. Yeah, um, but I was only there, for, I was, and we ate. So I was only there for two hours. So we did a lot. We did like big ticket um, things. And then we went over to downtown Disney. I'm sorry, we went over to Disney Springs to have drinks with one of my friend's parents to meet them. So that was really fun and awesome. And I just got back from that. It's just been a dream. Like if you're listening to this and you're like, oh my God, DCP, I'm so nervous. Don't be, it's, literally the best thing ever like I can't even it's so much fun everyone is so nice and so wanting to make friends and you just you really just have a blast one thing I forgot to mention look I don't have my earning my ears on anymore <laughs> um but anyway one thing I forgot to mention is that there's something called cast connections cast connections is like a giant store for cast members and family members to get into and they have some merch that like was in the parks but now is discounted they also have like old things like if the contemporary is getting renovated and they no longer want the lamp bases from the contemporary they'll put it in there but they have some really cool like team member exclusive merchandise so like they have this really cute this is a mouse pad so i'm using this to put my mic on um i got like a tank top I got a crap, I got four Alex and Anis. Look how cute that is. I got four Alex and Anis, a spirit jersey, the spirit jersey, and a cast member t-shirt. As well as like water bottles, cause they have like a little grocery section, cooking spray, all that stuff. And it only came to like $160, which is crazy. It's so crazy. Um. And I'm going to spend a lot of money there. But no, it has just been a dream. Like, I know I keep saying that and I'm exhausted because I haven't slept. But that's just because it's just so fun. You just don't want to say no to doing anything because everything is just amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Um, it's been so fun. And I guys, I hope you're excited for your DCP if you're listening to this and you're going to be moving in soon. And if you're thinking about joining the DCP, do it. It's so good. I only just got access to the parks today. Like I've only been able to go to the parks for about two hours and I'm still loving it. Like even if you don't get to the parks as often as you want to, or you think you can, like as a whole, there's so much more that Disney as a place has to offer than just it, like the parks. And that's like crazy. Cause that's like all I used to do. But now it's like going to Disney Springs, hanging out with your friends, like everybody here, like I had a blast. I'm having a blast. I can't believe I still get to live here for five more months. It's all just so exciting. I know I look crazy right now in my little pajama shirt. I'm exhausted. I'm going to sleep soon. We're doing a whole park day tomorrow, but it's just amazing. Everything's amazing. Do it. Do the DCP. I'm telling you, I'm going to make it my personality trait. Do the DCP. Everybody needs to do it. And I hope you guys are enjoying my content um, from the Disney College program. I promise the video will be better quality next time. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, please. And share. You have somebody that you think would love to do the DCP, share them. Send them my way. Ask me questions. Any questions you guys got, I have. Um, I'll be sure to answer them. I'm definitely going to start bringing my friends on here to talk about their roles, what they like, what they don't like. 
um, just to prepare everybody for like what they might have gotten or they think they're gonna get. Um, I've got a lot of I've got a lot in store for you guys, so I'm super excited. Um, besides Magical Mondays, also check out our main podcast episodes from wherever life take up takes us with me, Gina, and Liz. Um, we're a lot of fun, and we have a lot of interesting stuff to say and share and stories to tell. And thank you guys for coming with us on this journey and coming with me on this journey. It's just I'm dreaming. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm dreaming. Um, so I love you guys. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next week.